The next window we're going to look at is the details window, which is at the bottom. Now just in case you don't see the details window, you might want to look for this little plus sign down here. And if you click that, it will open up your details window. We're going to start down here at the first tab, which is our project tab. Our project tab has our tempo, our key, our time signature, the author information. Next to that, we have the metronome and your auto beat match. And just below that is our project folder path, which you can go in here and change if you wanted to. You also have a list of your global effects. You can select these effects by going to the drop down menu. Our next tab is our track tab. Right now we're on track 3 and the name is snare 2. We can go up to the track and change the name by double clicking on it. And you'll see that the name changed. You can assign unique colors to your tracks to keep track of drums, guitars, vocal parts, whatever that you're wanting to categorize. The size of the track you can do small, large, or normal, or custom size. You can also change the track height by going to the track, right-clicking on it, going down to Height, or dragging the track up or down. To the right, you will see the track effects. These are not global effects. These are just the effects that's on track 3. So if we change to track 2, you'll see that the track 2 effects are listed here. You'll also see duplicate if you want to duplicate what's on that track. And finally you got this freeze button here. Now this is kind of a cool feature because if your computer is slow or the audio is starting to stutter or you hear gaps in it, it's probably because you have a lot of effects or time stretching. So you can freeze this track to reduce the amount of processing that the track needs. Just click on it and it freezes the track. Now you can't edit the track while it's frozen. If you just unfreeze it, you're free to edit as you want. The next tab is Sound. Here we see the sound contained in the selected track. So I've selected Snare 2. You have here an edit window where you can edit the loop if you wanted to. So if I just wanted to hear the one snare hit, I can go to the preview button here. and it only previews that loop. That way I can hone in on it in case I want to do any editing, such as noise reduction. Noise reduction is great for spoken word. If you're editing a video or something like that and you have some background noise, a fan or something else constant that's humming. Starting from the top, you have your name, your offset time, your length, your adjust to project tempo, you have your detected tempo, adjust by pitch, which you can do down here in semitones. You have your key, and again, your noise reduction button. In your mixer tab, you have different show buttons. You can show audio. You have show your virtual instruments, and you show your sends. Now in the mixer, you see each individual track. In the Arrange window where you select the track 3, and you can see the channel 3 track is selected here. You have the name at the bottom. You have your fader or volume. Your pan. Your mute, solo, a 3 band EQ, and your effects. You also have your master fader. You can double click on it to set it back to zero. Finally, we have our library tab. In the library tab, you have a category section from tempo to key to mood, style, instrument, any number of choices. Just below that, you have the sounds within that category. You can scroll down here and see the numerous sounds that you get free with Mixcraft. Right next to any one of the names, you'll see a number 
in this case, if we click Disco, it has a number 42, meaning it has 42 loops in it. If we look in this Details window here, you'll see a blue arrow. This is your Preview Play button. Now if we select the track, track 4 here, if you click this green plus sign, you add that sound to the track. You can also take that same sound and just drag it up to the track. Next you have the name, the tempo, the number of bars, the time signature, the key, the instrument, style song. You have all the information you could possibly need. Again we saw the minimize button. And if you're working in the mixer, you may want to go to this undock button, which now you can just move the dock around anywhere in the window that you please. By clicking the X, you dock it again. And that's a quick look at the Mixcraft Details window.